One of the coolest effects you can do as a magician is to meet somebody that you've never met before and to immediately know something about them that there's no way you could have possibly known. One effect that I've been trying to come up with for a very long time is a way to predict somebody's birthday. I've learned a few different methods and they all feel a little shady, nothing feels natural. And then I was messing around with a deck that I found, an old trick deck that I found in my house from years ago, and they come up with this method, and I think it's kind of brilliant, but you tell me what you think. So let me show you what the effect looks like first, and then I'll teach you how you can make one of these decks for yourself. So you explain to your spectator that you've already made a prediction, and you want them to now tell you when is their birthday. And let's say they said April 1st. Now it could be any date in the entire year, but in this case, we'll just say it was April 1st. And that's really interesting you tell them because this deck of cards has two cards that are upside down. And the first one is a four. And that's interesting because, well, April is the fourth month of the year. And the second one is a, well, it's a king. I mean, that's not quite as interesting because they said that their birthday was April 1st. But if you look at the backs of these cards, they're the only red cards in the deck. And it actually says April 1st. Now that is exactly what the effect would look like if you were here live, and it really does work with any date in the entire year. So let me show you the method that we're using here now. Now it's not hard to make one of these decks, you could do it yourself at home, but I would suggest purchasing a Brainwave deck, because it has half of the work done already for you. I'll put a link in the comments, they're not that expensive. Every other card is actually a red card flipped the other way, but you can't tell that because they are stuck together. And that's what a Brainwave deck is. When they're together, they stick to each other so you can just spread the cards out easily but every single one of these cards has another card behind it that's upside down. If you just give it a little pull, you can you get the other card separated. On the backs of each of these cards, I have the dates and the numbers, and I set them up like this. So the first one is January, then February, then March. So if they had said March, I would just count three cards and separate the next one. Now it's gonna be the three because they're in order of ace, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So that helps you with the first part of the trick where you say, oh wow, you said your birthday was March, and I had the three upside down in this deck. What a coincidence, right? And then that sets you up for the second part where they give you a number. Now the rest of the deck is set up with the rest of the month. So you got March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And then I have a one, a two, a three for the first, the second, the third, or if it's a 10th. Then I have a zero, then a one, then a two, then a three, then a four, then a five, all the way up to nine, back to zero. So I can cover any possible date that they give me with this deck of cards, and there are just enough upside down cards to cover all of those numbers. So this is what the deck would look like from your point of view. Uh, you got the January, February, March, April, May, June. Let's say they said June, you would just separate the card below this one into six, and on the back of this one is going to say June. So something I do to make this easier for myself so that I can actually talk while I'm doing this, I don't have to say like in my head, January, February, March, April, May, June, you know, I could just kind of flip through the cards, is that I marked a couple of them. So July and December, I put tiny little dots in the corners. So let me just get to July here. This is July. If you could see the little dot right in the corner there, can you see it's just a little black dot? And no one's ever gonna see that, but I know it's there. So now if somebody says August, for example, I don't have to count the months. I just have to look for that first dot and then go to the month right after that one. And there it is. I know it's gonna be the eight. I know it's gonna say August on the back. Now I also put a dot on December and then I put a dot on the one and then I put a dot on the five. So I know exactly where these cards are so that if they, somebody said six, I could just look for that dot. I go to the next one, it's nine. Oh, it's not the right card, but it really is because it's got a six on the back. Now that you have the deck set up and you understand the method, there's really endless possibilities here. It's not just for somebody's birthday. You could guess somebody's anniversary, let's say, or you could just tell someone, think of any date, any date at all. Just think of one and name it and boom, you've got those cards flipped upside down in this deck. You could guess someone's age. I mean, you could put different letters on the backs of these cards. Using this method, you could predict almost anything. If you enjoy learning this type of magic, please consider subscribing.